Alta Holland has been incredibly challenging. We are dealing with um, a glacier, which is again extremely grand and large in many ways, not only in its exterior facade, but in the interior. We're dealing with properties of ice. We're dealing with things that refract and reflect. And how do we create that? You can research in your office for days, but until you go to the place and really see it for yourself, you will not understand the impact that it might have. Three years ago, we went to Norway, Finland, and Iceland on a research trip. The dark sea came directly out of a shoreline in Iceland, directly. In Iceland, we got the opportunity to walk on a glacier. There was a power and an, an energy to standing on this glacier and to know it was a, something crazy, a thousand feet deep below us, and this vibrant blue that reminded us of Elsa. How's it going, Chris? Awesome. It was so incredibly haunting and mystifying. And I think for Jen, as a writer, standing there on the shores, that's what you find out on a research trip. That was a profound moment. It was profound for all of us. We just had this epiphany that this would be, how would this make Elsa feel? And it would be like, it would be like coming home. Her ice connecting with ice that was thousands of years old, ice that was of nature fully, it would speak to her. It would, it would probably be quite an emotional experience because we were finding it emotional. Jen, what'd you think? It's good. Elsa would be proud. Aww. We are now two and a half months, roughly, roughly, from completion of this film. And there is so much work to do on Otto Holland.